Hi, I'm Jamie, and I am going to do some video overviews of the different bags that I build. A lot of the videos that I'm going to record are going to show bags that have options that have been requested uh, by the customers, and this bag is no different. It does have a few options on it that were requested by the customer. So this bag uh, is what I call my back base slim. It's the most compact shoulder bag that I build. Uh, it's popular in New Jersey, uh, New York, uh, in California, and anywhere where a fisherman is pretty in tune to the different uh, baits that are in the area, what the fish are keying in on, and they can go out with the essentials and not carry the kitchen sink. A few of the options that are on this bag, I should address those so you get an idea. This customer requested a main flat buckle. Uh, they also requested uh, blue contrasted uh, stitching, and they also requested a leader pocket on the underside of the main flap. Otherwise, everything that's on this bag uh, would be standard. My standard stitching is black. My standard stitching is black as well. So the dimensions on this bag, about six and three quarters to seven inches wide, about eight inches tall, and about three and three quarters to four inches front and back. It will handle most of the popular lures that we all use. Uh, let me get into the inside of the bag here. I can show you the tubes. It comes standard with a five tube tube set. That center tube that you see there is six and a half inches long by three inches in diameter and the four tubes on the outside are each six and a half inches long by one and a half inches in diameter. As a side note, those one and a half inch diameter tubes will handle a super strike darter with the factory hooks. If you oversize the hooks, you might have an issue, but with the factory hooks, so far I've had no issues with them fitting. I designed the tube set that way to minimize hook tangles. Uh, we've all been there where you've got a large tube and you've got multiple lures in it. You pull it out and it's like a barrel of monkeys of lures coming out. This will really minimize uh, hook tangles. Uh, I find that people use that large tube in the center for gliders and other large bodied baits, uh, metal lips, stuff like that. Also, inside the body of the bag, there are four bucktail loops. And behind the bucktail loops, you really can't see it on camera too well, but there's slots where you can hang tins uh, behind the, uh, the bucktail loops. All of my shoulder bags come with an adjustable and removable shoulder strap. And I'm gonna get that out of the way just so it's not messing with us here. And they also come with belt loops on the back of the bag. And the back bay bags are one of the only bags where I position the belt loops at the top of the bag. And that is so that the bag will hang more naturally on your belt if you're using it as a belt only bag. Also on the back of my bags, I put stainless steel D-rings. And that is because a lot of fishermen, when they fish with it as a shoulder bag and you cast, all of a sudden the bag is swinging around your body. So you can uh, put a clip on your belt and you can clip a D-ring uh, to that clip and minimize the bag from swinging around your body. All of my shoulder bags come with buddy lock attachment points on both sides of the bag. There's the main attachment point up here, and then there is a clip for a retention strap on the bottom to help keep the accessory from uh, twisting or potentially falling off the bag, especially in waves, stuff like that. Let me see if I can find an accessory here and I'll show you how that works. 
And here is an accessory which I call add a tube. Just gives you additional capacity. So, buddy lock system. Lock it onto the side of the bag. Take the retention strap. Lock it into the clip. And you have just increased the capacity of your bag. Let's get that out of here. So the back bay bags also come standard with a main flap Velcro leader pocket. And it has, it'll have stainless steel drainage ports on there. So this is a, a great place to store baggies of pre-tied leaders and small terminal tackle uh, type of items. The Back Bay Slim has standard 10 stainless steel drainage grommets on the bottom. Obviously the tube set is drained as well. This many grommets evacuates this bag of water really quickly. So for people who are swimming to a rock and need to get up on that rock, as you're climbing up on that rock, the water is coming out of this bag. So if you're looking for an ultra compact uh, shoulder bag for your outings, maybe the Back Bay Slim is the, uh, is the bag for you. I will link at the bottom of this video the link to my bag quote and order form so you can see all the different bags that I build. I list dimensions in there and all the pricing, all the options that I allow people to choose from as well as the uh, accessories that I build to go on my bags. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to building a bag for you.